Hello, this is Angie B and welcome back to my channel and I am back with a quick video. I know I don't do like reviews a lot but I thought I'm gonna do a review on this palette today because I actually really like this and if you read the title then you know I'm talking about this palette right here. It is from Makeup Revolution and it's the Sophie Soap X palette um, and this is her second eyeshadow palette. If you guys don't know Sophie, um, I can't remember what her name is. Sophie Does Nails or something. I think she wants to change it or something, but her name is Sophie. She's British. She's a British YouTuber. And this is her palette collaboration with Makeup Revolution, her second one. The first one, basically, the package was exactly like this, except the colors were switched. So the package was like this kind of light yellow gold cream sort of color. And then it was written in the rose gold like this. So they basically just swapped the colors. So I like that they did that. But this palette, yo this palette is so good before we actually get into the reviews make sure you like this video if you like what you're seeing so far make sure you give it a big thumbs up also subscribe and hit the bell icon it's going to be linked right down there that was so corny <laughs> okay so it's going to be linked right down there the subscribe button as well as the bell icon which just ensures that you guys get notifications every single time i post as soon as i post so you guys don't have to miss any single video that comes from me so I really want to get more into the makeup videos and stuff. I know my most popular videos are hair, but I do really want to get into makeup videos. But without further ado, okay, so I'm back. Hopefully the lighting is a little bit better. You're just going to have to excuse the light going in and out as usual. I'm trying. But um, yes, back to talking about this palette right here. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes from Makeup Revolution. I have a couple other palettes from them. I think two or three other eye palettes. Um, this is not sponsored, by the way. All the products I bought them myself. I just want to say Makeup Revolution is one of my favorite products. Like, favorite, what, companies? Favorite makeup companies, I guess. Um, some of my favorite makeup products from makeup are from Makeup Revolution over whether it's like drugstore or high end, just in general. I love, love Makeup Revolution. They've come out with skincare, which I've been using for like over a month now. So if you guys would like any reviews on the skincare or anything else that I might have, make sure you suggest in the comment section below and I'll definitely do that for you. So what I like about this palette, first of all, I love the packaging. Now, I am a person who really loves packaging, but I would never pick packaging over product. Like, it's always product first. First of all, I do not like wasting money. So if something is in a really, really pretty package, but then the what's inside is not really good, I'm probably not going to buy it. Unless it's like one of those, maybe like buy one, get one free, and then I just want the free thing just to have it, then maybe I will. But no. But this one is the perfect package. It looks amazing. The eyeshadows inside are amazing, so I just want to show you what the box looks like. It has 18 eyeshadows in it, and this is the Extra Spice one. I can't remember what the original Sophie palette is called, but I will put it up somewhere here so you guys can see. I can't remember what the initial one was called, and I actually really wanted that one. I was planning to get it for a while, and then it came out with this one. The back of the eyeshadow looks like this, and it has the pictures of all the colors of the eyeshadows and the names and guys the names are so cute i love the names of all these eyeshadows it's just like this is the perfect palette to pretend you're doing a makeup tutorial to yourself when you're doing your eyeshadow like almost everyone does that like come on you know yourself once in a while you'll be doing your eyeshadow and you're like just gonna get the shade sweet and sour and put that in my crease so she loves like food and Sophie, by the way, she loves um, food and like um, desserts and stuff like that. So that's why lots of the eyeshadows are named after stuff like that. So um, I won't bother to read the names here because for what they've been doing recently, they haven't been doing lots of their other palettes, but finally they do put the name of the eyeshadow inside the palette. So that's a big plus for me. I really love that and it's really good for makeup tutorials and stuff because if I'm using any eyeshadows or something and I just say like okay it's the third one from whatever you might not know properly or you might not remember at least with this one it's only 18 shadows you can you guys can remember the names or if you don't know the names you can just look in the palette and try and find the name so 
this is what the palette looks like on the inside it's just like the box but extra extra shiny even more shiny it's literally like a mirror like you guys can see what's on the table in this palette it is so so pretty and then the back just looks like this it's just cream and then it's got the rose gold in the middle just look at those amazing colors guys let me see if i can get them zoomed in so you guys can see very clearly what these colors look like can you see how pretty that is i think they show up slightly lighter on camera maybe but they're really nice rich colors and they're all so pigmented i'm going to swatch a couple of my favorite shades soon but let me just zoom you guys in so you guys can see what it looks like and also the mirror it has a huge mirror really bright really clear very very clear and true is it true to say okay it is like a little makes your face slightly wider but compared to the other palettes they've got nice huge mirrors but they're good for like really like up close like this because sometimes they tend to have like a slight magnifying effect or something just because i guess the glass quality isn't the most amazing i mean you're paying for what you're getting for but with the eyeshadows you get more than what you pay for this could easily go for like 20 pounds or something like that i got this in pounds by the way it was 10 pounds so it's affordable amazing colors let me bring you closer so you guys can see okay so i zoomed you guys in and i just had to like sort of darken the the light a little bit so you guys could see what the actual colors look like but they are so amazing the shimmer colors are really pretty all the colors are very pigmented so i think i'm going to swatch a few of them or let me just name all of them first and describe kind of what they're like so the first one is called every day and it's this one right here it is a very shiny as you can see it's like a very shiny nice shimmery color and it's like a silver but definitely got purple hues so when you swatch it that's what it looks like on the finger I'm gonna try to get the best swatches that I can so let's swatch that do you see how good that swatch is? Maybe I'll zoom in the swatches after. The next one is called Running Late, which is an orange color there. And I really like this color because it's a very nice, like, everyday kind of color. You can put it all over your lid. That's why it's called Running Late. You know, you can just put it all over your lid, brush out, and then you're done. So that's what it looks like when you swatch it. In fact, let me take better swatches, guys. That's the orange there. If I just swatch it. You guys can see how pigmented that is this one is called infinity and this one actually reminds me of the let me try and move it again so this one is like a true true silver there we go this one called infinity and it is very it reminds me of the new rihanna diamond powder or something like that it is such such a pigmented silver color that's what it looks like so this is really nice just for like a pop of color whether it's in the inner corners if you want to have a really bright like lid very pigmented and just to mention um they are only one two three four five six six shimmery shades and then the rest the rest of them are mattes but they are not I don't know how to explain it they're kind of like a satin finish matte they don't look shiny at all but they're very smooth on the lid they're not like matte where it's like a powdery finish I have heard someone say that these are kind of like chalky but I really don't find them to be like that myself so I'm going to swatch the silver that we just picked up there infinity look at that this is one of my favorite eyeshadows to swatch just because it is so pigmented and so shiny and bright sorry for that noise in the background just gonna have to ignore it The shimmery colors are not the same basically every day 
Dreams, um, LA Sun and Aurora are all very like they're still slightly chunky but they're more on the smooth side for a shimmery eyeshadow but then infinity and roman and romance are like extremely chunky very sparkly very glittery they glide on really well though so yeah only these two are the same in texture <laughs> If I could recommend one eyeshadow that would just blow your mind whether you use it that much or not it would be this silver right here because you guys can see how it's beaming out of everything it's very very good haven't really used it in a look as well but you know if there's any other products you want to recommend to me make sure you go ahead and do that so this is the end of the video this is my review of the Sophie palette I've been using this palette for a while now probably a few months. I really, really love this palette. I would recommend anyone who wants to experiment with makeup and you don't want to spend so much money. I'm a sucker for a great dupe. So if you like this video and you want more reviews and these kinds of videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I give this palette a 8 out of 10 um, because there's always room for improvement. You can always put a color or two in there. I can't think of anything I would put other than that. Makeup Revolution has so many affordable palettes and you can use bronzers and stuff as lighter transition shades if you want. So this palette is just so amazing. I couldn't recommend it enough. I love it so much. And if you love it too, if you didn't already, give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you didn't at the beginning. And I will see you guys in my next video.